Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to show you how to program a schedule on this Honeywell Pro Series thermostat. And I do have other videos on the Honeywell Pro Series thermostat, and I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. So this is the home screen on the Honeywell Pro Series thermostat. We have the time up here, the current temperature, uh, right here, and then above that is the temperature we have it set to. Um, and then right here, it's letting us know that it's on heat. And if you press the mode button, you can go between heat, cool, and off. We're going to leave it on heat. It lets us know that the fan is on auto. And then down here, we have the mode, menu, and fan buttons. And then we also have a plus and minus button. So we're going to press the menu button. And then on this screen here, the first option is program. So we're going to press select. And then it lets us know that the program is currently off. So we're going to press the arrow button to turn it on and then press the select button. And then on this screen here, we can program a schedule for Monday through Friday, or if you press the arrow button, Saturday, or if you press the arrow button again, Sunday. So for this example though, um, we'll do Monday through Friday and then I'll press the select button. Um, and then up top here in this screen, we have four different options. We have wake, away, home, and sleep. And the wake is what time do you usually wake up? The away is what time do you usually leave the home? The home is what time do you usually come home? And the sleep is what time do you usually go to sleep? So um, for the wake here, we're going to press the select button. And here it's telling us, um, you know, do we want this on or off? So if you press the arrow button, you can turn, you know, this on or off. We're going to leave it on. So I'll press select. And then it says, what time do you usually wake up? So you can change this to whatever you want it to be uh, by pressing the plus and minus buttons. And it goes in 15 minute increments. Uh, so for this example, we'll leave it at 6.30 a.m. And then I'll press select. And then it's asking us now what temperature, um, you know, for this option do we want? So you can use the plus or minus buttons to change this to whatever you want it to be. I'll leave it at 70 there. And then we'll press, before we press select, this is for the heating schedule. Once you press select, it's, it's asking you now, okay, what temperature do you want it for the cooling schedule? I'll leave it at 85 there and press select. And then it brings us to the next option up top here, the away option. So then we would just work through the rest of these options here, um, you know, changing uh, the different variables to whatever you want them to be. Um, and I'm going through the home option now, and then the sleep option. And then once we're done here, it brings us back to this screen. So then you could set Saturday if you wanted to uh, and or Sunday if you wanted to. Um, and then when you're done, if we press the home button here, it will save all of that uh, schedule that we just programmed. And then it lets us know right up here, following schedule. So now it's following whatever schedule you set. So you can override that schedule. If you press like the plus button or the minus button, you can change it to whatever temperature you want it to be. So let's say that I wanted to change it to 70. Um, that puts it on a temporary hold. So that means it will hold that temperature until the next change in the schedule. And then um, it will just continue following the schedule. Now, um, the other option is when you're in here changing to whatever temperature you want it to be, if you press the hold button, it will change it to permanent hold. And when it's on permanent hold, it will um, hold that temperature forever until you come back to the thermostat um, and turn the permanent hold off. Okay, so then when you're ready to remove the permanent hold or temporary hold, uh, you can press the menu button and it brings you into this screen here. And now the first option is the hold option and we can press cancel here. And then it will remove the permanent or temporary hold. And you can see now that it's back on following schedules. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.
Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.